Hi guys, so this is Brie from Brie Creates back with another video. I will actually be creating a larger than mat um, project and I wanted to show you guys what I use to cut the foam board which stiffens the larger than mat project. So this hot knife is what I use. Let's see, you can just kind of... This hot knife is what I actually use to cut this foam board because it creates a very smooth edge um, as opposed to using an X-Acto knife where you, you kind of get edges that are jagged um, and especially around corners you don't get a smooth um, cut. It's always pretty jagged and I like to keep things pretty seamless. Um, this is a project, however, it is being sold to someone, so I like to keep it as smooth as possible to make it look more professional. Um, so all you really have to do with this hot knife is plug it in. Here's a switch, that, the on and off, and I pretty much wait like two minutes for it to get hot. Um, I got this from Michaels, however you can pick it up almost anywhere, even Walmart has it, um, Amazon, Joann's, um, and they range from like $15, $16 and up to $30, it depends on like what attachments you want with it and things like that because it can also, let's see, let's take this off. Having this little screwed in edge or side, um, it allows for other things to be screwed in so it can actually brand. So you can put, um, they have attachments for letters so you can stamp inside of wood, you know, things like that. So this is, this is used for a whole lot more than just, um, you know, foam board. So it's a great investment. Um, I've been loving it ever since I bought it. So let's get right into cutting. The first thing I'll be doing is tracing around the anchor. And um, you have to be on top of a glass surface or um, just a surface that you wouldn't mind messing up if this hot um, knife goes into it. So I do a glass surface, um, but you can use maybe like a wood surface or even a um, marble top. Um, but yeah, you wouldn't want to do plastic. That wouldn't work. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so now that I've finished tracing the anchor, we're gonna go ahead, wait for this hot knife to heat up, and go ahead and cut it out. One thing that I will say is that I'm not going to be cutting right on this line, just so that I give myself some space for error um, just in case the, if the paper moves or anything like that, I kind of go a couple, you know, centimeters in, um, just around the edge. I'm not doing the center. The center is going to remain white right here, but yeah, I just pretty much am going to go around here. The line is just a guide.
Hi guys, so now you can see the finished product where the edges are very smooth. There's some hiccups here and there, but for the most part, you could not get this with a with an exacto knife. Um, very pleased, very pleased with this hot knife. Um, the only thing negative that I really would have to say is that the cord is short. So, you know, that's an easy fix um, using extension cord. I have come to realize that um, I could use these um, heads for about three or four projects and then it could use a sharpening or um, just replace it because they're pretty cheap. Um, so that's it for my tutorial um, on how to use an, a hot knife. Um, if you like this video, like, share, comment. Um, subscribe and for my next video next video um, I'll be making some anniversary hats and you guys can see what tools I use um, to go ahead and create them um, of course I use a Cricut to cut out you know the words and everything but so thanks for watching this is Bree saying goodbye